गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर डूइंग फाइन है एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी एंटरप्राइज टाइम मैनेजमेंट कोर्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द शेयर पॉइंट दैट इज द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ अवर लेक्चर और अवर कोर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद वॉट इज अ शेयर पॉइंट शेयर पॉइंट इज डन इन दिन power uh, share point okay let me go to the next not want to see the movie again okay so we have share point i mean we have different versions share point 2010 2013 2016 and 2019 and 2019 is that we are going to use in our discourse uh in the lab section you will see that how you can configure how you can run all those things together how we can configure your laptop or your uh, uh lab computer so let's that will that is a part of the lab work so we don't not pretty much so here we are say that we have different flavors we have a share point which is online and we have a share point which is on premises we will be working with the share point on premises but we also have the share point services which are provided by the microsoft and then we don't need to worry about their server capabilities or the latest versions and so on so we have like always have the latest version but it also have some limitations it also have some advantages limitations are the that if you're talking about a share point online then you have to pay for that okay you need to buy that particular specific service from the microsoft and then you can go and configure those settings and everything together and of course advantages that it is available all the time it's over the internet and it is going to uh available for for you for your company all the time so these are some advantages of the sharepoint online and sharepoint on premises we have different versions we have foundation standard and enterprise definitely we are going to use the standard version of the sharepoint for our lab work the other thing that uh, very important for the sharepoint because we are going to connect as we know that uh, we have the server on which we are going to install the sharepoint and configure our, our uh, sharepoint and then if we want to connect with that particular specific server or sharepoint instance then we need the web browsers so we have different web browsers we have microsoft edge or the internet explorer google chrome firefox apple safari so all these are available which will help you to connect your sharepoint instance sharepoint server configuration so we need or uh, we have different type of configuration very large scale server based application minimum server requirements so we have a 24 gb ram quad core three tiers so i mean these are the different requirements if you want to run a smooth installation or smooth experience of the sharepoint okay so our implementation is under under spec implementation is under specific under spec i mean we are actually in using a uh, lab machine which does not have 24 gb of ram or the quad core processes so we are running that particular specific um, uh, sharepoint in a virtual machine in a lab uh, lab uh, computers so definitely we are not maintaining that particular specific minimum requirement for this server of course we have certain limitations we cannot provide every student with a server machine or something so we have certain limitations so we need to cope up with that so that's why i mean when you are working with the uh, in the lab or in your home pc then it will be a little bit slow experience due to that particular specific limitations hardware limitations we have so uh, what are the functions that the sharepoint provide it is enterprise and web content management it also help you to document management whether it is in the local computer or local server or on the cloud uh, we can develop the uh, corporate portal or the intranet and that will help to communicate with different members of your company corporate social networking project management extensibility workflow and automation so we will be discussing in all these things in detail in the rest of this course but right now these are the different functions which are provided by the sharepoint so what we are saying that we have a server in which we have installed the first of all we need to install a server uh, operating system uh, we in our case it will be a microsoft server 2019 and then we install 
on that particular server machine we install the SharePoint and then we have different type of clients which can connect with that server using their web browsers and then connect with SharePoint and they can do the things whether you are connecting with a desktop or a laptop or the iPad or the mobile so all things can be uh, can act as a client and you can work with the, that uh, your SharePoint of course because it is from the Microsoft all the office applications or the um, office softwares they are compatible with that you can always seamless integration is possible with those you can have a word document and you can uh, edit it you can receive your emails uh, you can do some visio work excel powerpoint note uh, one note everything is seamlessly uh, integrated with this uh, sharepoint so you don't need to worry about it much provided that you have the online office 65 and then you can connect it conf configure it with the uh, with your sharepoint and then it will be work together again uh, as uh, in the introductory uh, uh, video the uh, youtube video you have seen that we have different sites we have communication communities content search insights composite so i'm not going to detail you have already lessened that what are different components are there so let me go a little bit about the permission and security so we have the site owners site owner mean that you have built that particular specific site it means that you own that particular site it means you have a full control you can even delete that site you can design it you can add it you can contribute so you have all the full control over there then we also have the site members who can add it you can design i mean you have you are the owner you are the product manager but you also have some other colleagues and the um, uh, what you the team members which are working with you and you can assign different tasks to them and they are developing different parts of that particular specific site so they can have design and the edit capability and then we also have the site visitors for example if you are building a website then the people are general people the public is coming on the website and looking at that particular website but of course they don't have the any other access except reading so these are the different groups security gifts which are already there there are certain else uh, more as well but of course these are the general one which you, uh, i want to show you and, and when we'll be talking about more about the permission and security then we will see the other security groups and as well as the discuss about the other security settings and the permissions of course uh, enterprise and web content management this is a site collection sharepoint group sites into one collection and site collection can then be managed as a unit this might align with the business unit for example in the u code we have the business department we have the engineering department we have the uh, health and the uh, exercise department and so on so we have one u code that's a one site okay and within that site we have sub sites so again for each business department business department engineering department we have sites and then become the collection of the sites and that is the u code so it's a site collection and then they can be managed separately by different groups and but the u code management can look at uh, okay, can be the owner of those, all those sites and they can access them they can change them accordingly team sites we can have team sites within the department maybe we have for example in the business and ict we have the business team we have the ict team and then maybe we can also have some other team which is providing the networking facilities we also have the wikis web parts so all these different type of contents which are present in our enterprise we can have them sub sites again sub site for example for, uh, within the ict team we have a site and for one website one sub site for the abbas malik where the abbas malik can present itself its research its teaching it's all those different contents which are related to only one person so maybe it's a personal site you can say that so that's again we can do uh, do with that particular specific sharepoint microsoft office suit is compatible with the sharepoint we can share directly from our word 
we can share something we can put the contents inside the sharepoint documents storage insert it provide you all those facilities and then we also have the libraries use documents sharepoint uses document libraries to manage the store and share the document so all those documents all those content that you are sharing you are uh, putting managing with the sharepoint they go into some specific libraries again we can share the documents with each other we can put those documents in the cloud so that we can access it from anywhere so all these facilities are available in the sharepoint again intranet a local or the restricted communication network especially a private network created using the web software so team sites are used to compartmentalize i mean we are trying to make them separate from each other business components within an internet site team users can have different access for example we have the ict team we have the business team and they have their own sites so maybe the business team can only see the information on the ict side but they cannot change it so we can apply all different type of prem uh, separation of the team side separation of the contents and then we also have some security mechanism between different teams so they can work all together so that's all internet that's we can apply in the sharepoint again uh, we have social networking facilities in this uh, we can have a micro blogging we can have the profiles we have the blog sites so all these type of facilities are readily available you just need to add that particular specific application inside that specific sub site and it is up and running you don't need to worry much about it but how you're going to build it how you're going to design it it is automatically with the default template it is going to come into your sharepoint site and you can use it without an issue projects of course we can have different projects for example you can say that we have the uh, bachelor's degree which is a one project we have the postgraduate diploma is another project so we can try to separate all those different type of products with with the help of the projects sharepoint workflow uh, sharepoint workflow is more kind of like something which you are doing repeatedly for example we are always taking the attendance so it's something that we need to do every week for every course for example we want to take leave uh, for the students or for the staff members so again these are the things which are and then if staff member need and leave then it should be approved by the manager and then the dean so we can have a complete workflow where we have an online form where the staff can log in and submit their leave work and then it automatically go to the uh, staff manager which is going to approve it or disapprove it so accordingly so everything is inside the uh, workflow uh, i mean of course uh, in the sharepoint workflow so these are the things can be handled by the workflow and then we will be discussing in future specifically the workflow then we will discuss we will see the examples and we will be discussing in more detail so after this uh, course after this tourist lecture you should be able to compare the on premises and on uh, in cloud uh, sharepoint what are difference between the standard enterprise and the foundation sharepoint server scale and explain the functionality so that is the end of our lecture and uh, you can see that i have uploaded the uh, lab work where we have discussed how you can install how you can build that virtual machine with and the configure the sharepoint inside it uh, for this particular specific purpose you have to come at least once for in your lab if you want to continue to work with i mean under this current covid 19 conditions if you want to work from home then you have at least come one time in the lab so that you can collect all the necessary files with you in your usb because they are high they are i mean we have already developed a virtual machine with the windows server to 2019 we have configured it and then you can uh, have all those installers things together so you collect all those um, uh, files within your usb and then you can uh, whether you want to set up at on premises inside the lab uh, or you can take it home and then you can follow the document which is available on the Moodle to configure your SharePoint. So this is necessary that you need to come at least once if you want to continue work from home 
and if you want to come and work in the lab you are most welcome because we have set a time every tuesday at one to four i will be available inside this software uh, lab and then you can come and join me and then you can work on your sharepoint thing thank you have a good time bye